must be seen. I don't know who you are, but I'm not walking blindly into some trap. Blind? Oh, goodness, no, on the contrary. I wish for you to see. Meet me at the Duga Radar Command Center. You know it, yes. Duga Radar? Who the hell is this? Oh, this is insane. I heard. What are you going to do? Go meet our mystery man, I guess. The real mystery is why that guy isn't strapped to a bed someplace, juiced up on Haldol. He may know something. I have to take the risk. Sure, he might know something. Or he might just be waiting to split your skull open with a hatchet and eat your liver. I really don't think this is a good idea. It sounds exactly like a trap. Yeah, it sounds like a trap, but we can't afford to ignore him. Anyway, I've got the gun. I'll be extra careful. You better be. I don't want to find your head on a spike somewhere out in the marshes. Regardless of how I feel about Tarakan, he could be my only chance of finding Tatiana. Suit yourself, but you could just as easily be racing towards your own death, and this lunatic already knows our location. Him and his nutty buddies could be closing in on us right now! We have a good defensive position here. We should sit tight and defend it, if it comes to that. I appreciate the tactical input, Olivier, but I have to do this. So, what's the fucking plan, man? Duga, a huge, frightening monstrosity made of steel. The epitome of the Cold War and insatiable ambition. But what does it have to do with you or me? It's been so many years, but someone must remember Igor. Someone has to know. What the hell? It doesn't look good, huh? How did this happen? Those things attacked us. The last one got to me, but I blew its face off. And now I'm stuck here. By the way, can you spare a bullet? You want to kill yourself? I'm not stupid. I know I'm not getting out of this. At least, let me end it before another one of those things shows up. Kill me. At least you're a human. Here. Are you sure? I'm sure. Now, if you don't mind, leave me alone.
I, Tatiana Amalieva. Take you, Igor Kimunik, as my wedded husband, and I promise you love, honor, and respect to be faithful to you and not to forsake you until death do us part. This is the same music box I gave to Chana for her birthday. What's this? There's something Why did you come here? Of... Is this a bug? You wanted to talk. Let's talk. Not with me. The old fellow wanted you to see this first. You're running out of time. How did you get it? Not here. Meet me in the building next door in a couple of minutes. This just keeps getting better and better.
took you so long? Did the tiny dancer get your attention? <laughs> Old man said it would. He's gotta test you before he decides if he likes you. Every fucking thing is a test with that crumbling fruitcake. But at least he pays well. Are you going to explain to me what this is all about? Captain Spastic said you'd recognize a big fucking radar assembly and that it means something to you. Then he mumbled something about the Rat King and the end of the world, but I don't think he was serious about that part. I came here to talk to the old man, not his errand boy. I'm going back. The fuck you say? You're a lucky son of a bitch. I'd mess you up, but then I wouldn't get paid. Now shut your fucking face and pay attention when your betters are talking. You got a choice to make. It's easy. You can either use the detonator to blow this metal monstrosity to kingdom come, or you can use the other thingy to upgrade your PDA. That will improve the functionality of every scanner in the network. Why do I have to choose? Don't know. Don't care. I did my fucking job. Now you do yours. And who the hell are you supposed to be? I'm a man on a job, that's all. Yeah? That's all you need to know, friendo. Last piece of advice. This guy is crazy loco, sure, but there's always some kind of reason behind what he's doing. So, ask yourself, why would he want you to make this choice?
place has definitely seen better days. Maybe you could do something to make it more like a home and less like an abandoned warehouse. A plant or a radio would be nice. A plant or a radio. Duly noted. That would be fucking aw- Uh, lovely. Hey, now this shit, uh, warehouse, really fucking cozy.
I'm wounded, Igor. Can you get me a first aid kit? Appreciate it. I feel better already. serious mistakes here. Maybe we should reconsider your approach to, I don't know, everything. What's going on, Igor? Fucking A! Now this shit, uh, warehouse is really fucking cozy. Mikhail, you've been around. You could teach me something about surviving in the zone. Perhaps a fucking lootly I can. That's the smartest request you've ever made, Igor. Gathering and preparing herbs and mushrooms, scavenging for food, treating bullet wounds. I wouldn't last long in this shithole if it wasn't for my mad skills. Perfect. Let's do it. What are we doing again? Ah, oh, yes, I remember now. I'm going to teach you how to scavenge for supplies. It's very fucking important that a true stalker can recognize all the different kinds of herbs and mushrooms, right? You also need to know how to spot useful stuff, like electronics or parts, you feel me? Very fucking useful. You can use this shit to build something really badass. But you also need to be fast. You can't be wandering around like an idiot, or something will come up and bite you in the ass. That's why we're gonna time this exercise. I'll give you 60 seconds to find anything usable. I don't care if you're ready or not. Three. Two. Two. Go! Let's show our studio audience how you did! Not bad for an ancient scholar from a past era. Not bad at all. We're done here, Igor. The fuck you want? Mikhail, you've been around. You could teach me something about surviving in the zone. Perhaps a fucking lootly I can. That's the smartest request you've ever made, Igor. Gathering and preparing herbs and mushrooms, scavenging for food, treating bullet wounds. I wouldn't last long in this shithole if it wasn't for my mad skills. Perfect. Let's do it. Listen closely and don't interrupt. I'm gonna help you hone your survival instinct. Pretend like your life depends on it. On second thought, don't pretend. Take this shit seriously, got it? All right then. 
You already know how to scout for useful herbs and mushrooms, eh? What you don't know is that the root of most plants can be eaten as well. If it's not rotten and you pull the plant out efficiently, you have a good chance of getting some free food. How fucking great is that? So, the more plants you gather, the better your chances of finding something edible. You try it now. I'm gonna give you 60 seconds to gather as many healing herbs and mushrooms as you can. Ready? Go! Ten seconds left! Time's up! Come back, Igor! Let's see how you did! Great job, Igor! Your survival instinct is strong! Or maybe you were just hungry, I don't know. Anyways, that's it for now. You're getting quite skilled at this shit, Professor. I'll make a stalker out of you yet. If you manage not to get yourself fucking killed first, I mean.